Hello shrimpers, 1st of January 2022, for me that means maintenance on my water system. Um, I own the Osmo Pure water system, 100, 100 GE Deluxe, it's quite a mouthful isn't it? Yeah. Um, it consists out of uh, four filters, a booster pump and a little computer that will give me a TDS reading of the water that uh, will fill up my uh, water tank. The blue one is uh, the water that's been that I use, but for now I have it in the drain, and I um, close the valve for the inlet of the water system, so there is no pressure on the system. Because uh, that would be a disaster if the pressure was still on while working on the system. I pulled out the plug for sure. Now, I'm going to replace three of the four uh, filters. I'm going to replace the sediment filter, 5 millimeters uh, microns, and the carbon filter block. And this is the resin for the last filter that uh, picks up all the last little bits that the first three filters didn't take out. Um, there's a fourth filter in there, it's a uh, stone, um, it's one and a half years old now, I think it should last another one and a half years, but I'm going to check that uh, in a little bit. Um, this is the cost of the new filters. So it's including packaging and tax and everything. So it's 3380 euros. Uh, I do this twice a year. And now is one of those times. Right. Let's get on with it. Because I don't want to bore you out. Uh, bore you folks out too much. Um, I'll be taking off the resin filter first. Um, I might have, might use tool that was provided. Sorry for that, guys and girls. I have a, a tool that locks in the so I can exert some pressure without breaking the machine. So it's a bit fiddling, sorry for this, but it is what it is. I try to be careful because there's still water in the system. resin filter you see the resin separated put this to the side pick up the carbon block some water that's why the extra towel is here now I'm just dumping this out this is carbon and sediment Old 
sediment, five microns. Dumping that out. Okay, let me turn you over a bit, guys. So, um, I have the new carbon. Take off the plastic. Uh, I always make it so that I don't touch the filter itself. I wash my hands beforehand, but my could always have some bacteria and we don't want foreign bacteria in there so that was the carbon same with the sediment Attach the carbon block okay. make sure it's aligned straight and if you have long hair like me there's no hairs or some foreign objects in between because they could cause a leak in, the, in your system and we don't want that. Okay, just I'm just screwing them on by hand a little bit now. And you have to make sure you get it on straight. Sometimes it takes a little bit of fiddling. Better to get it right then. leakage okay as you can see this one is a resin filter but it's still empty now because I want to check my stone uh, without resin sounds like a penguin back on the water pressure <coughs> excuse me so you see the first one is filling up will really rise on this machine Let me show you first it will be flushing this system always flushes itself first that's why it's a lovely system as you can see it's pumping the water in no real pressure yet, the booster pump is not on yet. Filling 
out slowly, slowly. It also uh, gives the temperature of the water run through. It says 20. Not really sure if that's accurate. But So it's still flushing. Now there we go. Now it started pumping. resin container is empty still but uh, we'll fill up it takes a while for uh, the water to pass the you see the ppm is at zero but that's because uh, this is the the unit that will measure it and it's on the outflow and the water hasn't reached it yet so that's why we have a zero reading for now why I'm doing this without the resin um, I want to see what my baseline is without the resin if it's too high uh, it will be an indication that um, the stone that is in this filter is due to uh, be replaced but since this is also the most expensive one. Uh, you don't want to replace this every time if it's not needed. The other uh, filters, I'll give you a look, see? This one is really yellow. And it, um, I think that most of it, that is metals, metals. And they're oxidizing, that's why it turns yellowish like that. This is my carbon. Well, carbon doesn't last active carbon. It's only active for a few months. So, you have to replace that. And this is the resin filter. So, I might um, show you uh, the resin filter. Take out the little uh, pluggy duggy, whatever it's called. There's a little sponge bit in here you need to save that because there's no replacement for that and now I'm gonna dump out the resin on here careful because this is um, an irritant if you get this in your eyes or something just try to get out all of it so I don't because I want to clean this as well with some water, but I don't want to send this down the drain because this is, uh, needs to go in the garbage. So, don't want to touch it by hand, so the rest of rinse out just a little bit left. Rinse the tap. I'm rinsing it with tap water, that's no problem. Right, like that one. Clean the sponge that goes on top. Like that. In the garbage. Hey pigeon, what are you doing inside? Get 
I'm making a video. Get outside. Push. I have to show you guys because you won't believe it. If I don't show you. He came from here. He wants some food. Get out. Crazy pigeons trying to make a video for the shrimpers. <laughs> okay, let's get on with it, guys. Um, damn pigeons. Let me just show you. It's on 19, you see? Now it's running through 20. But that's still because it has some. Uh, um, how do you say that there's still some rema uh, remains of stuff in there? So it, it will be dropping a bit. And I'll be uh, running it for a little bit and see where it gets out to. Let me show you just the. The pigeon is after the cat food. Get out, pigeon. Get out. Get out. Yeah. That's what you get huh? when you don't edit videos. You get this kind of stuff. Okay. So this will be running for a little bit. And I will see what my baseline is. I can see it dropping now as well. This is the new uh, resin. This is always a tricky bit because you don't want to spit it because it's quite expensive or expensive. It's not cheap. Let me put it like that. Pockets out before it spills up completely. More. Give it another tap. Shaking it to get all the air pockets out. So if you can see that as well. Sorry for over explaining everything. Okay, sponge back on. Make sure this is clean before you get the lid on. Seal back. Voila. All right, let's get back to the tank. So it's creeping down as you can see. It came from uh, 20 or so. going down quite steadily without the resin filter in it yet. 27 
So at this point, I'm satisfied that my stone is still uh, still doing its job properly because it, it will run down a bit more. I think it will run down to five or six, maybe. 